That intro was all filmed on this little bad boy. It's the 35mm 1.4 lens from TT Artisan. And these are some photos I took with it as well. So I'll try and keep the review of this lens fairly short and sweet because I'm not overly like a kind of technical guy. I'm much more sort of practical. I'd much rather just sort of get out and shoot with it and see what I can actually do with it as opposed to sit here and tell you all the, the ins and outs of the, the little technicalities of it, you know. Um, so yeah, there's more example footage and stuff coming up at the end. I'm just gonna try and quickly within like, you know, sort of a couple of minutes, run through the good and bad points about this lens. So obviously the main drawback to this lens, which, I mean, it is what it is, it's a manual lens, you know, so it's got no autofocus as such. It is purely a manual focus lens. So, and I've, I've never used a manual focus lens before, so it's been quite good fun. Luckily on this camera, I'm testing it by the way, on the Sony A6500. On this camera, I've got focus peaking, which makes it far, far easier to try and get focus. And I must admit, you know, after sort of, you know, a, a pretty short amount of time, to be honest, it was fairly easy to focus with, just to make sure that, you know, when I was taking portraits of tear and stuff, so as soon as you see the, you know, the little red peaking dashes, the little lines, like on her eyeballs and stuff, you know, you know that you're good, you're in focus. I missed a couple of shots, you know, got a, a couple of shots out of focus, but most of them were okay. And, you know, I wasn't giving myself much chance because most of them I was probably shooting at 1.4 because I tend to do that. So I wasn't giving myself very much room, you know, I had quite a shallow depth of field in a lot of the photos, but I done all right with it, I think. So bearing that in mind that it is a manual lens, you know, it's not going to be the best lens for chasing kids around the garden and expecting it to, to keep focus of them. If you're in more of a controlled situation though, you know, product photography, portraits where someone's, you know, like sort of sitting for you as such, then it's it's absolutely fine. Just a final little minor gripe with the lens is that the focus ring is actually sort of towards the back of the lens, which can make it a, a tiny bit awkward to get to, you know, when you got it on the camera, it'd be a bit nicer if it was at the front, but again, like I said, it's just a minor gripe. And so moving on to the good points of this lens, the most obvious one is gonna be the price. I think it's about 50 quid, approximately, I'll try and put the actual correct prices on the screen at the minute. I think it's about 50 quid in the UK, it's about $73. So that is cheap for a fast lens, you know, for a, for a 1.4 lens, 50 quid. I mean, the other lenses you look at, I mean, it's a bit like comparing apples and oranges, but I know you've got the You've got the Sigma 30mm 1.4, which is about 265 quid. And you've got the Sony 35mm 1.8 lens, which I think is a bit more, I think it's 300, 320 quid or so. So, you know, it's about a fifth, the sixth of the cost of those lenses, which like I think that's, <laughs> that's really cheap for a lens that is got a 1.4 aperture. I mean, let's be realistic. If you've already got one of those lenses, you're not going to want to get this lens. But on the other hand, if you've just entered into this camera system, you've not got loads of cash left because this is a bit of a falling down the rabbit hole thing, getting all this, this camera gear, you know? Yeah, if you've got into this camera system and you do want a nice fast lens that you're going to get nice bokeh with and stuff, nice portraits, fast lens is going to work well in low light like you saw in some of that beginning footage, this is a pretty decent option. I don't think you're really going to find anything else in this kind of price bracket. Moving on, some other nice features of the lens are that it's, it's generally, it seems to me, mainly sort of metal construction. So it feels fairly well put together for this price point. It's small and light. The aperture ring's got a real nice feel to it as it, as it kind of clicks through the different apertures. I don't know if you can hear that on the... 
on the microphone there, but it's quite rewarding as <laughs> it clicks into each f-stop. I know it's a bit weird, but it, it, does, it does feel pretty good. It goes from f1.4 up to f16. You're gonna notice quite a nice jump in quality if you're just going from the kit lens to this lens, getting a nice fast prime lens, you're really gonna see a big difference. So that's definitely worth a little upgrade at a decent price. I realise it's a manual lens, you know, but I just tried to use that to my advantage. And to be honest, there's quite a lot of instances where I actually use manual focus on the Sigma primes, even though they've got amazing autofocus. I sometimes shift them over to manual focus. If I'm trying to catch Tia doing some sort of acrobatic stunt or like a move on a skateboard, I'll kind of focus for the area that she's in and then flip it over to manual focus and reel off a load of shots as she's doing that action, whatever she might be doing, so that I'm not actually relying on the autofocus missing and, you know, getting a building behind her or something like that. I know that then once I've got that sort of that depth that wherever she is in focus, I then flick it into manual so I can take the shots and they're obviously going to be in focus. And, you know, you can get quite creative with it in video mode and stuff. It's quite nice. I quite like that sort of ethereal look when you're sort of doing video and you know you can move in and out of focus rather than the camera hunting for focus you can set the focus distance and then track someone and you know that they're always going to be in focus or a couple of those shots you saw i'll set the focus to be either you know at a distance or close and just get tia to skate off on her skateboard so she slowly goes off and sort of becomes blurry you know which i quite like that kind of effect so there's still plenty you can do with this manual focus lens. Another thing this lens actually has over the Sigma Prime lenses is the fact that because it's a manual lens, you can actually accurately rack focus, you know? So, you know, by, by turning the, the focus dial a certain amount, you're always gonna hit that focus point and come back to the same focus point. On the Sigma Primes, they use, I think it's called a fly-by-wire system, is that right? I hope, hope hopefully that's right whereby it's kind of you know more on done on like an electrical basis as opposed to sort of like a manual basis so on the sigmas if you if you flick the, the focus ring out quickly it's going to go out loads more than if you do it slowly so you can never really do accurate rack focuses on there i mean i know you can use a touch screen and stuff and it does work fairly well but you can't do like a manual rack focus particularly well so that's actually one thing that this lens has above the sigma primes Anyway, that's about as technical as I'm gonna get. Let's get back to looking at some more video and photo examples. So yeah, I hope that came in useful. As usual, please do think about liking and subscribing. Everything on my channel is all based around the Sony camera system, the Sigma Primes usually, any other lenses that fit that APS-C system, any other gear and bits and pieces like that. I think just my final thoughts on this lens are, again, like I say, you're not gonna, if you've got the Sigma lenses and stuff, you're not gonna probably wanna get this lens. Although it is, it is nice being able to rack focus accurately with a manual lens. I've learned that that's quite a nice thing to have. But generally I'd have thought, you know, if you're coming up, like I said before, from the kit lens, something like that, and you want a fast prime, you've not got loads of cash, this is, this is a pretty decent option. You're gonna get some nice results with it, hopefully from what you've just seen. So yeah, I'll leave links to all this stuff in the description. Go and check them out if you want. And I will see you again in the next one. Cheers.